What about gangbangs do you like? Because so often the idea is that the people think that a gangbang is degrading to women. And like, so how do you see it? I see it as not everyone's fantasy is going to be a bunch of men or women, you know, wanting to have sex with them. But when you, I mean, everyone films it differently, but Mm -hmm. how I feel like I did it was like, not as degrading because I also wanted to be catered to. Mm -hmm. And I also wanted like the guys to be into it as Mm -hmm. well, as much as I was. And I mean, you can choose as many people as you want in it. It doesn't have to be like eight, like how I want it. I wanted Mm -hmm. to go all out. I was like, Mm -hmm. it's my first one. I might as well do as many as I can. Mm -hmm. So it was eight guys. (laughs) I had like eight or nine guys in Mm -hmm. it. I think. Yeah. There were so many guys. I think it really just depends on how you see it. Mm -hmm. And you have to remember we're consenting to it. Like Mm -hmm. I want to do it. And when I do these videos, I want it to be on camera. Mm -hmm. It's not like I'm not consenting to it. So I think it it could be, I I don't really see it as degrading. Because if you really watch it, like I'm being catered to, like these men are making sure I'm satisfied. I'm having so many dicks. It's like, it's like a, it's like a fantasy. It's not real. This is what gets me frustrated about that question that I'm asking you, mm-hmm. <laughs> because it when you ask that, it's this automatic assumption that sex is like inherently degrading for women in a way. Yeah. Right. And because if when a man has sex with a lot of women, you never ask the guy if they felt degraded. Right. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's always the opposite. because like the woman's always the victim. And I like to ask this question of people who like to, women who like to do gangbangs because I like to show that a lot of women find it empowering. Mm-hmm. They find exactly what you said, that they feel catered to. They feel worshipped. They feel surrounded by men that are there for them. And I think that's an important narrative to push forward so that women can see, oh, you know, I can have, because a lot of women have gangbang fantasies yeah. and you don't have to be ashamed of that. Like, and it's not degrading. And if you're consenting to it and it's something that you want to do, like, why can we not flip it and say, well, rather than these men are all using this one woman for their pleasure, why can't we look at it as this woman is being catered to and pleased by all of these men? Mm-hmm. Like, why can't it be reciprocated in some way? Exactly. Why does it always have to be like stacked against the woman? I think because men also like to sexualize women. Mm-hmm. We don't really sexualize men as much as like mm-hmm. a man does to a woman. Yeah. So I feel like it's a lot of projection yeah, too. 100%. A lot of guys just see it as negative like I don't know adult films are obviously fantasy Mm -hmm. you know I wouldn't really do that in real life because one I feel like it's hard to find guys who are okay with working and like sharing one woman (laughs) I talk about this too often like it is so hard to organize a gangbang it is it is a lot of work there's always gonna be someone there in the corner jacking off because he's feeling really nervous that there's these bigger guys that are there too yeah it's a lot. So that's why it's meant to be on camera only. I know there's people that do gangbangs mm-hmm. in like their personal life, but that's hard. Like unless it's like an NBA team or something, but <laughs> or they're all willing to share. But most guys like who wouldn't want like a gangbang? If a guy would want a bunch of girls fighting for them, it's like, yeah, it's like for me, I never had so many guys fight for me. So yeah. when I do it, it's like, all right, let's see who gets who gets the hole first or something <laughs> like that. You know, it's at the end of the day, I'm a porn star I make fantasies it's like I want people because people I'm sure I've had so many people tell me I want to see her do a gang like it's not just mine but it's Mm -hmm. also other people's yeah yeah I mean there's something hot about like all those bodies coming together and and what I love too is you know I've I've directed only a couple of gang bang Mm -hmm. um and it's funny because the ones that I've directed have been gang bangs that the girl organized and Mm -hmm. hired me to shoot one was for Riley Reed. And one was for Lisa Ann and then okay. Joanna Angel, but I only did pictures for that. Okay. And so that was really fun because like the girls booked the guys, like they mm-hmm. wrote them the checks afterwards. They selected them. It was for them. It was what they wanted. It's really cool to watch if you step back the way that the guys like flow and work yeah. together. You know, there's like unspoken communication. They'll like look at each other like, okay, you ready, man? Okay, I'm going to pull out like your turn. Yeah. Like it's cool. It's almost like a choreography dance. It is because that's why it has to, it's not just about the women too. The guys have to have somewhat chemistry. Yeah. It's more about the guys. It if really the guys can is. work together. Yeah. yeah. They are fighting for obviously the girl's attention, but it's also like, okay, you next, bro. Like, go ahead. Yeah. Like, it's, yeah. I've had too much of this. Like, I got to share. Yeah. Cause it's also like, it's for the camera. Like, you can't, if it's just one guy fucking her and the other guys are standing around like jerking off, 
Like, that's not fair. Gang bang. That's not fair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's why I'm like, I did for mine because obviously I did my research. I got to have every handy. If I could, I would have done with my hands too. But obviously yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. really hard. Yeah. I would have I been literally like a, like, what is it? Like a seal basically at that point. <laughs> but it is a lot of work though. Yeah. It, but at the end you're like, wow, I just did that. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like I do it all the time either. Like it's like here and there. I like to just give that to the, the audience. Yeah. Well, then it makes it special if it's not every day. Yes, exactly. Yeah. 